Have you ever wanted to decorate satin or silk? It's easier than you think. We're gonna get into it on this episode of Clued Into Crafting. Don't go away. Satin or silk robes are a great accessory for weddings, and they're super easy to customize. The only thing that you wanna keep in mind is if they are heat sensitive. This only really occurs in cases of a very fine quality silk or a very low quality silk. You want to test press those just to be certain that your heat press isn't going to discolor or harm the fabric in any way. I have already gone through and test pressed both of these items. I had an extra. Actually, they both did great underneath the heat press at the normal temperature for metal. So that's what we're gonna stick with today. But I wanted to add that side note for you guys because there are a lot of varieties of satin and silk available. So this is a 100% uh, satin robe and we're going to center it up on our 15 by 15 heat press here. And then I've already gone through and I cut and weeded uh, our metal HTV here. And we're gonna keep it super shiny because we're just doing one press on these today. If you wanna see it get that dull, distressed texture look, Joe has another video on that, that's great. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and center up our robe on our heat press here. Make sure all your seams are hanging off the edges so you've got nice, even pressure. We are gonna go through with a pre-press just to get all these wrinkles out, any moisture that might be lingering. Also a great chance to check your pressure. I might need to add just slightly more. That felt better. And then we have our awesome bridal name and date in metal gold. This you want to center up with the arms, about the center of the arm, as well as about a whole hand down from the top of the robe. We'll replace our cover sheet and we're gonna press for the full 15 seconds. All right, now you can remove your cover sheet. You want to very carefully slide your robe off of the heat press here. It's going to be hot where it was just under. And then metal is a cold peel, so you're going to want to wait until this is cool to the touch before you remove the plastic carrier. You can rub it on a surface to dissipate the heat. However, because this is white, you don't really wanna rub it on the table just in case I do pick up any kind of a stain. So I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a little shake. And then once it feels a little bit cooler, we can go ahead and peel that carrier back. You will feel a little bit of resistance. That's totally normal. Awesome. And now you have a beautifully customized back of your bridesmaid robe. All right, so next we're gonna move on to the front of our robe. We've got the back all beautified and now we need to add a monogram to the left side of the front of the robe. We are going to need a heat transfer pillow for this because of this large seam here on the front. And then we're going to do our best to hang just one side. Make sure you do the left side. I had to think about it for a second, you guys. Left and right. Make sure you're actually putting it on the left side for a left chest. And we're just gonna hang off half of the robe here because you don't wanna repress that area on the back that we just decorated because it's going to make it that distressed look and we want it to stay super duper shiny. And we're gonna go through and do exactly the same thing. A pre-press on the front using our cover sheet. And same thing, we're gonna use our sleeve as our guide. You want your monogram to be about midway on that sleeve point. So I'm just gonna eyeball that. I think it might need to be moved up just a hair. Keep in mind though, once it does get on the body, um, especially a woman's body, you probably are not going to notice if it's not com completely 100% straight because it's gonna fit the curves of the girl, so. So we did a full 15 seconds again. We're gonna move off our cover sheet. Remove that warm pillow and bring it over. Don't lay it back on your pillow or your cover sheet because they are still uh, retaining heat. We're gonna let this cool off for a minute. Fantastic. So now 
the front and back of your silk or satin robe is decorated and ready to go. So the final thing we need to complete this look is a custom satin eye mask that'll look great in all of your photos. And we're just gonna put the Mrs. Name on there one more time in our gold metal HTV. I am gonna use a little pillow underneath of our eye pillow here because of the large um, satin band at the back. That will probably upset the pressure, but this pillow will absorb most of it and create an even pressing surface. If you have a cat press or something like that, that might be a better option for this little bit of an accessory, but we're gonna make it work on our big old heat press guy here. It's pretty much centered up with that band and then as well the center um, nose area there. We're going to put our cover sheet on top in 15 seconds. Okay, when it beeps at you, you know it's done. Go ahead and remove your cover sheet, remove your pillow, and one last time, we're gonna wait for this guy to cool off before we peel that carrier. We are gonna go ahead and peel our carrier. Another great application. And there you have it, a custom satin silk robe and a matching eye mask. I hope this video helps you out. If it did, make sure you leave us a like and a comment. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any new videos. I'm Lily and this has been Clued Into Crafting.